the scripture says we must have the mind of Christ or the attitude of Christ well to simply put it as as followers of Christ we are asked to live the way Christ would live if he were to live today here on earth well the scripture says in 1st John chapter 2 verse 6 whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did in the living bible this verse reads like this anyone who says he is a christian should live as Christ lived you know i mean i'm sure you agree a lot of times we hear statements like this and and preachers preach and teachers teach and it's just kind of one of those things we we can't touch it or and experience it it sound wonderful but the question is how do you uh, live it out and as a matter of fact one of the one of the crises of christianity that i feel like it is that we are so full of knowledge and information yet this this we just can't live it out you know i remember one time when i was in dallas texas that is in the united states and um i asked someone uh, can you tell me how many christian radio stations are here in this city of dallas and fort worth the twin cities and this person came back to me and said oh about 13 i said 13 he said yeah they are full time radio stations am fm uh you know uh, and then i mean and then of course you know you have uh, radio stations um you know in in the nearby in the other cities also so i said to myself you know here christians in this particular uh, small community of dallas fort worth area they have the opportunity to hear christian teaching music and all kind of things 24 hours uh whereas uh, a country like uh, india with over a billion people there's not one christian radio station um uh, in the country of course you know we can broadcast from outside into the country uh, and many of these nations on earth they don't have a radio station called christian radio station of their own in their country but here's a question i i'm happy for the 13 or 30 or 300 radio stations but the question is this after all this teaching all these books that are written and all the music what about our life are we able to really touch reality and and see our life become more like christ life and i think for a lot of people spirituality has become just a matter of getting information about it knowledge seems to make people think now they are spiritual but pharisees as you read the new testament you will find these people they knew their bible so well as a matter of fact they wrote mega commentaries on uh, the bible and they memorized it they taught it they are experts in it and everything and and jesus said you know you fellows all of you are going to hell and he said you search the scriptures you acquire knowledge you read all these books and you you seems to know all the answers but here's a problem the scriptures testify of me but you don't want to come to me thinking that having all the information is to find life now my brothers and sisters as I mean, you can imagine maybe I, I i i do read books and i did go to seminary and i have my degrees and and i'm not against christian broadcasting because i've been doing one for 30 years uh, now in 103 languages called spiritual journey and um, um, I, i do write books and read books so i'm not against any of these things but the critical question is this is there something about us on the inside that long to be like christ 
And the question is, is it possible? Well, a lot of teaching out there, you know what, we are just weak, struggling human beings. We sin here and there and God understand it and grace is there. So, you know, it didn't matter, you know, um, you know, it's like uh, just a few months ago, I heard, um, you know, a mega TV preacher in the United States uh, who seems to have a, a huge congregation said the Lord told him to divorce his wife and, and, and you know, you know, I, so you can see. Uh, the, 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 the confusion that is taking place in Christianity at large but honestly I think someone who is seeking for something for themselves will find what they want in the scripture but if they seek Christ and follow him I don't think they can walk in darkness and do what they want to do and so the, 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 the question finally is this what is it I want about my life something for me or is it Christ and his life and and this scripture talks about that you know when I read this I said you know I'm gonna do something today I took my pencil and and um, I, I opened my Bible and I start reading Matthew Mark Luke and John just to see how Christ lived on earth of course I, I, I worship him as my God he's my Lord and Savior my King and everything else but also I just want to see the man Jesus, how he lived on earth and, and the struggles he faced and the choices he made and, and what was his life about. At least I can uh, learn to think in these terms and, uh, and follow him. And you know, I've been known for many, many years as a, um, a champion. Um, of what he called the anti-social gospel uh, preacher and in, in other words to explain that to you uh, for years and years I said people going about just doing uh, mission work uh, without understanding preaching the gospel you know I mean meeting the physical needs the orphanages and hospitals and you know and all these different things they're all great and, and it should be done but I said please for kindness sake stop it don't say this is the great commission and then you need to preach the Bible and call people repentance and 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 forsake sin and 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 the world and and follow God and of course you know I wrote much about it and uh, you know God didn't come to me and said you are off the wall as they say in America by the way uh, he, this is not my no, he didn't say nothing of those things I just kept moving on uh, with my conviction being involved with the mission that I'm part of thank God for the thousands of missionaries scattered throughout many nations that are preaching the gospel but something interesting happened one day I was in Mumbai that is Bombay India I was waiting to catch a flight to Frankfurt Germany and I just had a few hours so I picked up the newspaper started reading it right on the front of the newspaper this black and white picture that arrested my attention the picture was of a little boy he's kind of semi naked I, I think he was what maybe five or six years old laying on the busy sidewalk of Bombay of course you know, if you ever been to Bombay you will know what I'm talking about it just people 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 everywhere I mean it's a city with some 17 million people and that's a lot of people 24 hours people just flowing like ocean and and on the streets and but this little boy was laying on the sidewalk but you look at the picture beside him lays a dog a female dog but then it's so obvious and visible the boy is drinking milk from the stray dog and I said to myself, this is unbelievable. I never saw anything like this in my life before. And I read the three column article that explained about over 100,000 children that live on the streets of Mumbai and Calcutta not knowing who their parents are. It explained the, the plight of these children. Now remember, I never cared for any of this stuff. All I cared about is he just preached the gospel and get people saved. I still believe the same thing, by the way. 
and I, I still nowhere I go in the world without this commitment to continue share the gospel ask people would you receive this Christ into your life and 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 accept him as your Lord and Savior I still do that either giving gospel tracts or talking to people this is the way of life but I remember sitting down with the newspaper and and looking at the picture and very gently the Lord began to speak to my heart said son what do you think and I said to myself I just can't imagine this boy happened to be my own son little boy Danny laying on the sidewalk of Mumbai trying to survive drinking milk from a stray dog and that's when my reading years and years of reading the Bible that particular portion where Jesus said this little children welcome them in my name and that's what I want you to do not only really, I understood the heart of Christ for the suffering children but it made me to repent and change my ways and embrace a world of precious children that are in need and no wonder that transformation that change of mind that understanding of Christ the man when he lived on earth how he cared for the suffering unwanted and the lost help me to go after the suffering and the children especially so today i'm so happy to tell you we have close to 60000 children that we are able to care for from many nations in asia their food their clothes and their medical uh, care and giving them education and <laughs> recently asked one of our leaders so tell me how many of these children give their life to christ and how many of them understand that we do it because of jesus and then he said what do you mean how many he said all of them open their hearts to the lord they are so tender so precious they understand jesus loves them of course i am convinced if all what we do is just meeting the physical needs i am glad that's good because people need help but once we begin to understand Christ life what he is about anyone who says he is a christian must live as christ lived helps me as i read the four gospels once again to read scriptures like this son of man came not to be ministered to he didn't come to get people serve him but to serve and give his life away on the behalf of others the son of man came to seek and to save that which was lost as i read these gospels i understand when the greeks came and said jesus <laughs> this these people are mad they they're going to kill you come with us be our teacher and jesus will respond and say you don't understand unless a grain the seed falls into the ground and dies it remains as it is but if it dies it bring forth much result and fruit in other words he is saying i am on the way to jerusalem i am on the way to the cross and you need to understand my life is for one reason not for me but to die on the cross that others may know the father and my brothers and sisters our call to follow the lord today is no less than christ focus and his life and his example think about it the people that are around you throughout your nation and throughout the world and may we become the extension of his life for those that need help so badly and they will find it through our lives